Why does Werner Herzog want this little baby? Is it, is it, is it like a Richard Gere situation? <laughs> Mandal God. Mandalorian is, is, is very concerned. It's coming to the surface. And I'm bringing the wrath of the seven seas with me. Starring James Franco, who's secretly a genius poet, who occasionally does giant big budget schlock for cash, but also makes very artistic films like Palo Alto and The Adderall Diaries, based on a book by someone, someone, <laughs> based on a book by Zaba, 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 a book you never read or heard of. Uh, it sucked. <laughs> what is it? I, it I've never even heard of sucked. it. It sucked. <laughs> uh, Black Coast Daughter stars the little girl from Mad Men. I've never watched Mad Men, but I know. She, is she John Hamm's daughter? What's her role on that show? Her, her name's Sally. Okay. John, John Hamm has two kids with January Jones. That's it. I mean, what else do you want to know? <laughs> You want me to fucking explain Mad Men to you? Oh, I thought you were going to say that was the end of your review of Black Goat's Daughter. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Base is a place of dark secrets and mysteries. I want to get away. Science is awesome, you fuckers. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to fly away. We're fun, but we're serious. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. It's, but it's serious. Why are pop songs such a part of the Star Trek universe now? Because times have changed, my mm, friend. I guess. Did they ever just explore anything? First you sin and then you die. In my case, they piss on you. <laughs> <laughs> Here lies the last Santa. <laughs> Let's get away from these miserable, depressing movies that make you feel terrible. I saw Killing of a Sacred Deer. Also known as Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I'm so sorry. Is that a frog? Trying to make sure I have just proper elbow coverage. Some bit where the there were two like female helmsmen. and they're like, come on ladies, get it together. And they're like, woo, sorry. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh dear. And then the one girl, uh, t t Tilly, yells, science, uh, science is, is, is great, bitches. She yells, oh, so what is she? Let me, I wrote it down. Oh, I think she yelled, fuck Batman. <laughs> you, you, you. She yells, uh, <laughs> Oh, I didn't write it down. Oh. This is the power of math, people! It's almost like one of those things where the situation is so horrifying that you don't know how to react. So for me, it became sort of comedic. Um, so I don't know if it'll have that same effect on other people, but it well, really, really good. you're a sick person. I think it's just that I'm a very sick person. There's something wrong with you. Okay. Well, Jay, uh, I, I've, I'm, I have two films now to watch, Killing of a Sacred Deer and, and Gerald's Game, based on your recommendation. You should watch them back to back as a double feature and then hang yourself. Okay. And then, and then Logan Jones will film me, or whatever the fuck that little <laughs> Logan prick. Logan Paul. Or whatever the fuck that little that, prick's name that, is. That stupid asshole. Um, <laughs> the dead man's eye rises into the air and expands to enormous size. A new form of life has begun. A seemingly invincible being of pure light energy, driven by a hunger for knowledge and a taste for young women. <laughs> Of course! It's it's feeding time! Of course! Why do they call that animal a rhinoceros? I don't know. Because it looks like a rhinoceros. Is that really? That's the... really what it says. <laughs> that scene. Well, he, he shows up and he's talking to like 
the door guy. And, oh and, yeah. And he's like, I'm looking for a mystery woman, right? Whatever her name and is. He's like, yeah. nobody knows her name. I don't know if she's working tonight. And then another girl hears it and she runs back and uh, to, to give the heads up <laughs> of, to mystery woman. And, and oh God, well, I don't remember what she said, but it was one of those moments. There's a cop out front looking for you. He'll be down here any second. It's amazing. She goes, I'll run interference. Yeah. And then she runs in the hallway and she's like, hey, mister, you can't be back here. There's naked ladies back here. And he's, like, he's like, I can go wherever I want. I'm the cops. Where do you think you're going? No people allowed. There's naked girls back there. Very funny. There are naked girls out here too. It's a strength club. And then he busts into the dressing room and I think a similar exchange happens where he's like, I'm a cop and I could go where I want. All you cops are the same. All bark when all you really want is some free sex. Wrong. Uh, and I'll shoot you all. I would love to shoot you all dead. Why? What are you gonna do? Shoot us? No, oh, believe me, right about now I'd really like to. And then, uh, uh, so, uh, what are you doing? Yeah. What? It was finally irreparably broken in 4ABY when Vader absorbed Emperor Palpatine's powerful force lightning in his face. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of great things in it. It's, it's well worth the watch. Yes. And, uh, this is coming from two elderly men that hate Star Wars. Um, <laughs> uh, John Favreau and Dave Filoni and everybody else, all the great writers and directors on the show, have brought it back to life from the grave that J.J. Abrams stomped it into. <laughs> um, I've, I've heard the, the San Diego Comic-Con described, like in comparison to other conventions, I've heard it described like, uh, what's the word, nightmare? Oh, okay. Um, and it was. Yeah, oh yeah. It was. Um, I, I had claustrophobia issues. I started vomiting. I fell down a couple times. I got trampled mm. on the way to the, the Teen Titans Go trailer <laughs> release. Uh, uh, someone stepped on my face. Um, and I shat my pants. An ambulance came, but it couldn't get to me. So they just, they said, forget him, he's gone. Uh, it was really uncomfortable. Santa's got his oh. blowjob machine already. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. Oh. Early flashlight. Yep. <laughs> uh, Which is half the size of a wall. Yeah. It's, it's Santa has a very not... huge, huge cock. Yeah. <laughs> God. He's constantly. Giving, giving, oh! giving. Santa's a giver. Oh, a giver. damn, girl. Yeah, where is Mrs. Claus in this whole no. scenario? Picking out the help of one of the last vampire hunters, Master Cow. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, God. I actually fell. <laughs> do you remember Star Wars? I do, sort of. I can't understand you. <laughs> Do you work for me? Santa, <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas, I want to go home. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> the whole time I've been smelling like cinnamon and, and floral smells, and I'm like, Josh, you smell lovely oh, it tonight. Could be the... It could be your beard. Yeah, but it's, it's a, a bit rum. It's, 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 it's the candle. And then I realized, all right, it's the candle. <laughs> Did you wait? Thanks, Mike. Did you rub something in your beard? Like, I did. What? Okay. <laughs> I Jack, I condition the beard every day. You got to keep it soft and nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> it smells nice. It does. It really does. Do you guys want to smell it? No. <laughs> the line we want your son to say, man. <laughs> I saw a graphic on the internet of six Star Wars related things mm. like coming out in 2019 and I was like, what? Is yeah. this fake? Well, it seems to be... And I don't know what's going on in the world anymore. I'm I, elderly. I feel like they're going to scale it back now after Last Jedi and then especially after Solo flops. Why? Where... What's wrong with The Last Jedi? You hate women? Absolutely. But the... Uh... We used to late for school this morning. I dreamed I was playing football and the game went into overtime. So he overslept? <laughs> I'm not quite sure I understand. 
What is this man laughing at? And he finds the symbols. The, the, the troll oh, yeah. keeps leaving oh, yeah. the symbols. symbols. Yeah. Which, according to Grandpa, was the original Nazi symbol instead of the swastika. Right. <laughs> what is four generation? The, four, four generation. <laughs> the superheroes, a variety of styles. <laughs> It appears to be actually be made out of tissue paper. I, I, I might be wrong, but I think that's a tissue paper cape. <laughs> Fabric or tissue paper with a Spider-Man symbol on it. I think it's an extraordinary. Oh, and there's a Batman symbol on the side. <laughs> <laughs> a, variety, a, a variety of styles, the children most favorite gift. <laughs> Uh, this is great. Can I see this, please? Yeah, you, you go ahead and take a look at that. <laughs> Let's check out and see some more of who's on the Marvel's Avengers. Um, here, here we have uh, Marvel, Marvel's The Avengers uh, Batman action figure. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> oh my god, he, he looks freakish. <laughs> and he's got like little dots for eyes, like... He looks like a mannequin face. <laughs> Oh, he looks like um, a CPR dummy. Thank yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the crash test dummy commercials? Oh, yes. Yeah, he looks like them. That's what the face looks like. <laughs> Perfect. And here we go. <laughs> and he's, he's, on the yeah, he's on the package. What is this? He's hanging out with Iron Man and Captain America and all the rest. The, but the important part that we need to reel back to is that <laughs> Siri makes an appearance in this movie. My name is Samantha Morris. I'm the editor of an internet news magazine exploring news most media shy away from. <laughs> is that text to speech for That's her holy. dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> That's your original Siri. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey Siri, read my script. His helmet was black with a highly polished finish from Wudu Hide. <laughs> a Wudu Hide. You know that boys are smarter than girls? No, I never knew that. Well, you should, because it's a common fact. <laughs> Let me investigate this. Maybe you're supposed to hide drugs in him. <laughs> Can I keep this? Oh, sure. Hey, where are you going? Star Wars is like a... It's like a 80s slasher monster. It is! You you think it's dead, and it keeps like coming back. Like you, you hit it in the head with a fucking hatchet, and then it's just sitting there for a while, and you go, you poke the corpse, it just sits up. And when it gets back up, it keeps doing the same thing. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> you talk about Rawhead Rex with me. I just got the Blu-ray in the mail, and but oh God, oh fuck, I didn't wash my hands. I didn't clean the fucking packaging it came in. Oh my god, and I used the DVD case as a dinner plate. Blah! Blah! I think I've got coronavirus. Collar was also equipped with feeding straws that allowed Vader to feed himself from an implanted bladder filled with rep mud vita paste. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love that rep med vita paste. I'm glad I wasn't born in France. Why? because I can't speak French. But if he was born in France, he probably would have he learned French. He probably would have learned French. I'm glad I wasn't born in Spain. Why? Because you don't speak Spanish? That's right. How'd you guess? <laughs> wow, a slight twist on the previous joke. Greatest love story of the year. Cool. Between uh, Pee Wee Herman and Joe, What's his name from? Ma Mangiano. Mangiano as himself. It was famously in the Magic Mike films. Joe Mangiano plays a man in Magic Mike 2 whose penis is so big, he cannot find a woman who can handle him until he meets Andy McDowell at a house party and she 
can take his gigantic cock. Well, that's a weird coincidence, because there's a scene just like that in Pee-wee's Big Holiday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Except for it's Pee-wee. Except for it's Pee-wee. Jiminy Cricket Prick Bastard. <laughs> what? Jiminy Cricket Prick Bastard. <laughs> There, there, there's only what? What is what is the saying? There's only seven stories, right? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's whatever. Um, but except for uh, uh, a Rise of Skywalker, there's 48 stories. <laughs> to Rise of Skywalker. Oh God. Anyways, we're not going to dog on that film today. No, we're, until we're, you bring it up again. We're here to talk about <laughs> the Mandalorian. The second primary layer dealt with impact protection from physical shock due to the irreversible damage to the torso. The second layer was some ortho fabric. I guess it was a some ortho well, fabric. Some. We don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we know the other things for sure. We have the documents. It was just some ortho fabric. <laughs> Mommy's gone. She's taking George with her. Your mother's a bitch. She'll Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Brian Singer also got COVID-19. Not Brian. Yeah, although he was a little disappointed. He was hoping for COVID-17 or maybe COVID-16, as long as it keeps its fucking mouth shut. And I'm glad I wasn't born in your hat. Your hat? Where's your hat? I, I, is, it, is this involving the kid with the bat? It's on my head! <laughs> ha ha! Gotcha that time! I don't normally date woolly mammoths. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's, she's like, so you, do you like repoing cars? This is 60 seconds into their date. Listen, uh, talking about repoing cars, I gotta go, I really do. Why? I gotta go repo a car. <laughs> <laughs> we were just reminded him. <laughs> Thanks for the shitty spaghetti. <laughs> but the bartender in Star Wars, he, he probably passed away. Maybe a heart attack. He seemed like he wasn't in the best shape. No. So he was just some dirty English guy. Some guy they pulled off a street corner and said, you want to be in Star Wars? Oh, okay. Can I wear me wig? And get behind the bar and be racist towards C-3PO. <laughs> okay. Are you sure he didn't show up at the end of The Rise of Skywalker to like have a cameo when he shot a, a Star Destroyer? Like everyone else? <laughs> I learned how to fly me X-Wing. Sidious, newly declared Emperor of the Galactic Empire, soon arrived and snatched what remained of Vader's body from the bank of the Lava River, placing him on a medical capsule and willing him to live. You remember this? Yeah, I remember this. He then took Vader back to Coruscant, repairing the damage to Vader's body through intensive cybernetic enhancements, with the help from arcane Sith healing techniques. At the newly renamed Emperor Palpatine Surgical <laughs> Reconstruction <laughs> Center. Reconstruction Center. <laughs> that's because it's the first thing you're gonna do. But why do you <laughs> take over? That's the hospital after me. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll get to Lord Vader. That just makes me like Emperor Palpatine even more. <laughs> I just want to see what the sign looks like. <laughs> Does he have like his picture on the sign too? <laughs> Smiling, smiling with his monster face. And there's a statue of him in the lobby going. <laughs> <laughs> with two adoring children looking up at it. <laughs> Why did you let the air out of the tires on your new bike? So I can reach the pedals. <laughs> uh, the mystery woman goes into that woman's house. Blonde lady? Yes. The blonde lady's like, who is that? Who's there? I'm here. And you're like, what are you talking about? Who is it? I'm in here. I didn't call maintenance today. <laughs> I been for a long time and my wife got real ill. She was in the hospital and I was driving for this race team at the time. And she begged me to stay with her. I had to go drive this race, which was real important to me at the time. I won the race. Shut up! <laughs> He's so bad. The magician turns one of his henchmen into the princess. Yes. 
and then sends that, what he, she, them, sends them to the suite to seduce Deathstalker and get stabby on him. Uh, but Deathstalker, seeing clearly through this ruse, just rapes the person a little bit until he figures out that the vagina is not correct. <laughs> he, he knows. He knows it's a, he it's a fictional magical vagina. He uses, he's like, this ain't wet enough. Right. He's in there. He's I'm Deathstalker, like, bitch. Something doesn't feel right in. You're a dude. You see, full yeah. stops is like, who are you? Yeah. Get out. The plot went wrong. She didn't figure that he would start raping her right away. <laughs> She figured she would have at least six minutes. What are you giving mom and dad for Christmas? The sister says to her brother. The brother says, A blowjob. <laughs> Bunch of girls walking around in bikinis. What is this, a beach movie? Hey, it's in my script. I got Fuck the script. These girls can't read. Go. <laughs> People like to see black guys fucking white blonde women. There's your plot. What? They all just took a love drug. They all got their clothes off, and they're fucking, and they're sucking the shit out of each other. And that's the movie you're gonna make. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> that's the most real thing I've ever seen. That was the best line of dialogue in any movie I've ever seen. Could Bib Fortuna be a Mandalorian? Wouldn't he have to have like a gigantic like garbage can so <laughs> sell that? <laughs> yeah. That like a group of skate kids, kind of kids who used to like like using their, their VHS camera to record themselves doing six stunts had a scheme to film themselves doing six stunts with like a professional film camera wait 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 what not seven stunts <laughs> sick Mike sick sometimes I can't understand you <laughs> sick it, it, it's a diabetic slur <laughs> Mike Sick is a slang word that, like the film was made in nine. He was making a reference to oh, when the, oh, like you were doing. I, I thought maybe you're trying to be up to date with your with your slang. Sick, like these kids. They were, were doing 90s. radical skateboard tricks. Okay. There you okay. Go. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying this movie was made in the nineties? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! How could you tell? <laughs> Officer Washington? Officer Derek Washington of the LAPD Special Division. <laughs> Holy shit! Come on, this scone killed that father. A scone oh, killed yeah. my father? <laughs> Palpatine threatened to use force lightning against him when Vader <laughs> expressed displeasure with a dressing down Palpatine was giving him. Palpatine revealed on that occasion that he was well aware that the delicate circuitry that allowed Vader's life support systems to function were vulnerable to electrical discharges. <laughs> Vader would later outfit his armor with electrical insulation. <laughs> I'm just amused with like the Emperor threatening Vader like a child, I use my electric bolts on you. You know, I could short out your life support system. I got root that insulator. How did he do that without Palpatine finding out about it? That's my question. I don't know. This document doesn't doesn't yeah, answer that. I'm sure there's a paragraph in there somewhere explaining who the contractor was. <laughs> <laughs> Vader hired Umla Gumagog, the the, the, the notorious uh, hot insulation manufacturer to give him lightning proof insulation in his suit. This was done 13 years BBA. <laughs> Did you write this? I wrote everything in there. Love of the Borg. He wants revenge on the Borg and he's gonna have to fight 50 Borg cubes. Oh, what was our idea where he had spaceship hands? <laughs> was he gonna have some, I don't remember this. Oh, yeah. We, spaceship I think, hands? Yeah, spaceship hands. <laughs> uh, where he's out in space in a spacesuit, and there's like there's like Borg ship-sized sp like spaceships that are sh in the shape of fists. They have like thousands of little windows on them and stuff. And there there's a tiny little little hole in the back for him to put his hands. And he goes like this, and he has big spaceship hands. I think no. And, and he goes like this. What up, speed? <laughs> and he punches Borg cubes at warp speed with spaceship hands. I think he's gonna be floating out there in space in a spacesuit, and then the Borg ships are gonna show up, and then he's just gonna say, reconfigure. And then like the Star Trek Enterprise <laughs> is gonna like 
form around him into the shape of a giant robot. And then he's gonna just start punching Borg cubes. Okay, that's all right. That's a, that's a little that's a little boring for audiences. Can we make it more exciting? Can he throw a sun at them? <laughs> well, what I will say is, I saw the trailer for it. Which uh, do you, uh, did you see the the original trailer Wait, for it? You didn't watch Sausage Party, thinking it was something else. <laughs> <laughs> it took you a while to get there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> anyway, it could He's talking, it just goes right, it cuts to the little girls, and they're just sitting there and they're just listening. The elves were a genetic engineering experiment. And the Nazis had rape experiments and. <laughs> and they're like, really, Daddy? <laughs> What's a, what's a gas-powered dildo? <laughs> what's a rape experiment? Like, how does that work? Well, I don't think any woman's gonna willingly fuck that troll, so obviously this is a rape experiment. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck would anybody think that's the master race? It's this disgusting little two-foot-tall troll. <laughs> The Nazis really wanted to crossbreed humanity with those things to create a master race? So they, could... they, they run around in the woods and eat their own shit. <laughs> hey, they eat bugs, okay? Not, not you, their own shit. Do you remember at the end when the troll's about to rape the girl and then he sees the bug <laughs> and he grabs the bug? Is he gonna oh. stop to eat the bug? <laughs> That's hungry. The incessant rasp of his breathing interfered with his ability to rest, let alone sleep. In rare moments it came to him, Vader's sleep was a nightmarish jumble of twisted reoccurring memories that unfolded into excruciating sounds. Memories of like Jar Jar Binks and working on their pod. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning, that's a good trick. <laughs> Keep me up at night, stoop. And when he attempted to rest, his cybernetic limbs strained against his ruined flesh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got the same problem. <laughs> Worse, the implanted sensors lacked sufficient discrimination so that too many ambient sounds were picked up and their distance and direction were difficult to determine. Sometimes the sensors needled him with feedback or attached <laughs> echo or vibrato <laughs> effects to even the faintest noise. <laughs> I just fucking kill myself at that point. Bet you're wishing for some Ray-Bans now. That's right. You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you got the problem. <laughs> That was the, the line of the movie there. <laughs> and then he ends up taking like two or three people to the eighth dimension, and finally he's ready to go, and it opens up behind him, and there's just a pyramid with a bunch of other eyeballs. Here comes the smoke. Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Yes! Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's all you get. Oh my <laughs> god! That was the climax. That, that was their other dimension. That was it. Star Wars. The Last Jedi. Oh wow, wow, that is that is something else. That is really amazing. You know, you know, me personally, I love this film. Oh no, 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 Rich. The the film isn't out yet. They just announced the title. Oh, oh well, well, I, I, I well, me personally, I actually, I, I, I love this title. We Germany in the 1940s, there was a rash of dick stabbing assassins, <laughs> and no one. <laughs> Figured it out until today. <laughs> that would that would strike fear into my heart. <laughs> stay, in, stay in stay in line with the Nazi party here. We're gonna stab your dick. <laughs> yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. A little awful shove a knife in your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, what are they saying? Teenage brothers Jimmy and Billy Lee, Mark Draco, Mark, Mark, 
Oh, well, this guy had such a memory. What? Career. Mark Dacascos? And what? Additionally, the tall boots were a poor fit for his artificial feet. <laughs> I can't even, the man can't even get shoes that fit. The guy can't get to breath. <laughs> <laughs> These devices made it even more difficult for him to move with ease, much less any grace. Raised on the heel, the cumbersome footwear canted him slightly forward, forcing him to move with exaggerated caution, lest he stumble or topple over. <laughs> do you think that happened often? And what do you, how do you react if you're like the stormtrooper that's in the hallway when, when Darth Vader falls on his face in front of you? <laughs> oh! <laughs> or falls down the stairs. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> uh, critics have been poo-pooing this movie, and uh, you know the, all those people just need to, to get the stick out of their ass, and, yeah. and they need to go to a theater and you know get, get a bunch of friends with them and just you know just laugh. I would say yeah, I would recommend it. Uh, maybe leave before the last ten minutes mm -hmm. uh, because it is a sketch film. So obviously yeah. there's lots of different little scenarios throughout the movie. And I thought it was a really odd note to end the movie on just 10 minutes of news footage of 9-11. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I was, I was playing a cell phone game for most of this film. We know. Rich, are you playing a game? What are you doing? Cut it out! You gotta pay attention to the films. What is the fuck? Take his phone away. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Ashley Adams, you don't know how to read. <laughs> well, that was the longest trail off of a Rich Evans laugh I've ever heard. You don't have anything to eat, do you? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Uh, <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't realize we were watching an avant-garde film. Yeah. Like I loved it. I thought it was visual, I thought it was breathtaking, and then I farted a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. My face? What do you want with my face? Well, no, you can't have my... Not my face. Don't take my face. <laughs> and, that, and why are they brothers? Because one's an, one's an Asian. One's a, one's a Chinaman. Rich? <laughs> God damn Rich? it. No, no, I'm asking you, like, do you know anything about the, the video game character? No, I really don't. The cannibals are on different sides of the island? Yeah, apparently there's some sort, I don't know if there's like a, like a Donald Trump wall or something that's holding them back, but they're definitely, the cannibals that's, are that's separated. That's such an east side of the island cannibal attitude, Josh. <laughs> You should check your cannibal privilege. <laughs> I don't even know what you mean anymore. I Zach Baggins shows up, which was off-putting. <laughs> that scene when Zach Baggins <laughs> comes in and does a lockdown, <laughs> trying trying to capture the ghost. Oh, you and see the, Casey Affleck in a sheet run by in the background? Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My little device is going off. <laughs> Casey Affleck just says, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wearing you? that sheet, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you make fun of Zach Baggins. <laughs> that man is a national treasure. <laughs> Vader was given an opportunity to have a new suit built for him. The suit would have been far more advanced, technologically superior, and much more comfortable than his original. However, due to budgetary restraints... <laughs> He's holding the guard down because it's oh not glued god, on. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> oh my god, you're right! The, they were upside down <laughs> so the guard would fall off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're right! And today's sponsor is Nerd Coffin. That's right, it's a coffin for nerds! Not those fake nerds out there, you, you fucking cultural appropriators, you white jocks. 
who, who fucking used to push me around in school and knock me down. Now you think you could just put on a fucking Star Trek shirt? Well, if he jumped off a higher building, he would have left a lot of escal... Esc oh, God. So don't, don't, don't even do it. <laughs> don't even do that it. one's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. If, he, if he jumped off a taller building, he would have left a lot of. The moment's passed, Rich. <laughs> Listen, no, no, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know what you were doing again. Ready? Try it yeah, one more I'm, time. You know, fuck yourself. Go, go, fuck yourself. No, no, I won't say anything. I promise. Uh, what, what, try what, am I, what am I? What am I? What am I? Charlie Brown trying to kick a football here? Try another take of it. I'm you not guys, gonna fly that guys, kite. You guys be quiet. You guys be quiet. Try another take of it. I look. I'll even drink while you're doing it. You want me to set it up? I'll set it up. Mm -hmm. So leave, 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 leave an exclamation point, not a question mark. Well, if he jumped off of a taller building, then he definitely would have left some exclamation points. On to our next film, <laughs> Deathstalker. Um. <laughs> I need another drink, I gotta. Are now stocking your toy and specialty stores. For more information, log onto the Full Moon Toys website. And for ordering information, oh. call our toll free call number, 1-877-315. Six, That's an 877. That might be still active. That's a fairly... Oh, the movie started. This is the movie. This is the movie. That's a porno line. Hey, sexy. Hot amateur girls are ready to get off for you. And you're like, how do I get a Puppet Master toy? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Shaq. Shaq, that's some delicious meat. Hey. <laughs> Shaq would be tasty, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So on the way back to the relay point, they mm. get uh, attacked by the cannibals again, and they're all getting like Look your pulled away different, <laughs> in different uh, directions your, by the while cannibals. While you're thinking about Shaq. And say, guess mm, what? Once that happens, that that's Shaq when the zombies come back from the opening of the movie. I all of a sudden the zombie, Shaq. hey! Trying to talk about the fucking Dr. Butcher MD. Nobody Rich, cares. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, I'm trying to get Rich to lick his lips and say, I want some of that Shaq meat. <laughs> So that I could use it for my own purposes. I, I spend my fucking Sunday out here doing this with you guys. Mike is working on a gif that will be spread hundreds of millions of times. I don't... <sighs> I want that juicy shack. I am what every creature of the night should fear. I am more than just a vampire hunter. I am the first vampire assassin. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't wait to get to the <laughs> So, tell me, where did you guys do it? Right there. Oh! He's taking her? <laughs> what? Why would you do that? <laughs> what? It's not enough to just tell her. We fucked right there. Look, that's yeah, your brother? Condom. Your, your little brother? Yeah, fucked him. <laughs> you can still see his ass mark <laughs> in the dirt. <laughs> Uh, Josh, best oh, of the worst. By a country mile, it's Kathy's Curse. That movie had atmosphere to spare. It had, uh, I didn't give a shit about the plot holes where I gave a shit about the plot holes in the other movies. So yeah, it's Kathy's Curse. Mike, <laughs> best of the worst. Oh, uh, my pick for best of the worst is Vampire Assassin. <laughs> Are you damn it, you mean? <laughs> you fucking asshole. Hackle Lantern and Kathy's Curse. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Uh, res restoration of film prints. Yes. I appreciate that. This is true. Uh, marvelous little moments of weirdness. But it was just too spread out, too diluted. I cannot <laughs> fucking believe you. <laughs> Vampire Assassin uh, had some great moments in it. What? Some great fight scenes. What no. the fuck are you talking about? No! I love... What are you talking about? I Listen, I grew up on Len Kabazinski films. <laughs> and and I, I enjoy a good, a good bad kung fu B movie. And what a giant, giant pile of shit. What are you talking about? No, I'm not, I'm not doing this to be a contrarian or to, to cause an upset. <laughs> I don't doubt that at all. I just, I'm just don't saying, understand I, it. If, I don't, if I were to pick, <laughs> I don't get it. If I were to pick which B movie I thought was the best. And that uh -huh. I enjoyed the most. Uh -huh. Vampire Assassin <laughs> has the most crazy B movie magic. Giant, giant pile of shit. <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> Excellent choice. <laughs> Excellent choice, actor. Uh, yeah, that was the best take. There. <laughs> Not that juicy shack. Wait. <laughs>
Am I lying? I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I knew you wanted it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> BJ Armstrong? Oh, God. One rare. <laughs> Look, you're only having Magic Johnson. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Can we be done yet? I just, I don't want to fucking do this anymore. I want just that juicy shack meat. <laughs> the first thing that pops up on every fucking YouTube video from now on, just, I want that juicy shack meat. <laughs> I want that juicy shack meat. Want that pill? Want that pill? Want that juicy shack meat? <laughs> get it, get it, get it going, man. Get it going. <laughs> You're gonna die. Oh yeah, yeah, that's oh, the catchphrase, yeah. the action catchphrase. You got the problem. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 did provide Vader with a number of benefits. <laughs> Get the money. Oh, nice. But the first... He's a man stuck in a giant coffin. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to the least creative comment section on YouTube. Check it out. Oh my God. That's the same shit they've been saying for five years. Is this comment section replacing the Plinketto board? Is this Plinketto board replacing the comment section? Is Jay replacing Susan? Rich. <laughs> is is Josh replacing the Plinketto board? Are you replacing Rich Evans? Is Star Rich Wars Evans? replacing Rich Evans? Rich Evans. We, we, it's not funny. Stop. Rich, is are Rich you... Evans replacing Mike Stoclasa? Oh, oh. oh my God. Rich Evans has replaced Mike Stoclasa. The real question is, is Mike Stoclasa replacing your diabetes medicine? <laughs> I'd like to take this time to thank our other sponsor, Nerdbox. Sorry, a few minutes ago, did you just say that you wanted some juicy shack meat? <laughs> did I? <laughs> I don't believe that I did. I, I must have misheard you. You know, Rich? <laughs> I thought Rich, you said that you wanted some juicy shack meat. Sometimes you just, you just go into your own head. It's all those magic mushrooms you take. This is why we want you to cut back. Not even stop, but cut back. I just, I just could have swore I heard you say that you wanted some juicy shack meat. No, did you, were, you, were you thinking about uh, just like caving someone's face in with the butt of a shotgun again? Because that happens and I'm a little concerned about that. Well, you got to get to the shack meat somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look at this. It's, this is, this is a, a Ray action figure. Um, <laughs> this, is, this is clearly not... Uh, a, a surplus Ghostbusters figure that they could not sell that has been... They did not take a marker and scratch on Ghostbusters. Well, Rich, Rich, Nerdbox... And then slap a Star Wars sticker on the Ghostbusters logo. Nerdbox really, uh, we'd like to say, only only sends you the highest quality. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Mike, this is the best thing I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> a, a bin of 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 Avengers hot dogs. Uh, 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 look at I, that! Oh my God! That are those Vienna sausages? That, <laughs> yes, they're they are not cut up hot. Are they gray in the middle? <laughs> like I think I are... think these I think these <laughs> went bad <laughs> during shipping. <laughs> I, they, I mean, you smell great. I'm not, I'm not sure. Hold on, I, my BBA watch <laughs> went off. Death Stalker stops. It's a German name. It's a, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan Death Stalker. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. I'm, hey, like I'm, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. by that. Uh, <laughs> um, so, so uh, are most of the women in this film. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, not so pleasantly, Rich. Not so pleasant. So the, the movie starts with a woman being raped by a bandit. That bandit gets interrupted by a group of goblins who then start raping the woman. <laughs> this is true! This is, these are not jokes. These are not jokes! They look right like they're right out of Troll 2. Like they wandered right off the set. They wanted to feed her something green. But yeah, that actually made sense that they would look like trolls because the, uh, the effects were John Carl Beekler, who did Troll, so it's probably just shitty had laying around K and B. Why do you know this guy's name? Because I asked Jay. Why does Jay know this guy? Oh. <laughs> no, it makes sense. So the goblins stop the raper from raping the lady, and they start raping the lady, only to. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Rich Evans' autobiography? <laughs> what? Which one is Rich Evans? <laughs> I'm the one who's getting raped by my friends. <laughs> oh, God. Are you calling us goblins? How dare you, sir? <laughs> so, but. It's Pumpkinhead meets Rawhead Rex, and it sucks. Speaking of asexual, let's talk about Denise Crosby. <laughs> um, <laughs> who is. I wonder what Denise Crosby's thinking here. <laughs> what do you have, Mike? Well, I look at this. It's Denise Crosby in a Star Trek action figure. Mint it's on It's mint card. in box. Don't open it. That's mint in the box. Ah. It's, it's, it's worth, oh, it's worth nothing. Watch me open it. This. We probably could have gotten two bucks for that before this, you opened it. This used to be worth 20 bucks on clearance. What has she done other than Pet Cemetery? That's uh, that anyone knows. She's the she's the Pete Best of Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun noise. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good analogy, I guess. Yeah. But Mike, what about Harley Quinn? Okay. My source says Harley Quinn will be a male character called Charlie Quinn. Hmm, that's pretty clever. And he will be played by, wait, the deal's going through now. He'll be played by Colin Quinn. I think the last name is a coincidence. Oh, oh, and I can see here that, that the gender swap Harley Quinn, Charlie Quinn, is also going to be the first Harley Quinn to have AIDS. Who will play this character? Charlie Sheen! He's got AIDS! Wow, Rich, you held on to that AIDS longer than Magic Johnson! Rich, your pick for best of the worst. There is only one movie that can be best of the worst. Kazam. <laughs> I think I know why. I, hmm. <laughs> yeah, dog. Because, because, because it has a genie and I wish I hadn't watched any of these movies. Yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, I, I, I honestly, I honestly, out of the three films that we're looking at here. Am I seriously gonna be the only person that votes? Come on, Mike. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Come on. I cannot pick a best of the worst. They're Jesus all fucking Christ. terrible. If I wanted to say one to destroy, I, I'm, on, I'm with Jack here. No, I'm, I, I don't yeah, Death Stalker is, is, is a pathetic, despicable movie. Yeah. Third. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're, you know, we're, okay. we're set right. on that. But I would also destroy these two as well. All right, so <laughs> fucking, I'm taking Double Dragon home. Fuck oh, all you this take shit. Double Dragon home. <laughs> fucking tired. Fucker. I will destroy everything on this table. She could be, she could be making like William Frakes money, Jonathan Frakes money, William Frakes, William Riker, Jonathan Frakes. I fuck that up too. I fuck everything up. You really need to take your diabetes medicine. Uh, uh, Avengers, uh, uh, wall, flip flop. Why does it say ninja? Sticky down. Um, you know, this is also a, a Star Wars product because there is a picture of <laughs> BP-8 on. Well, how could that be? On the package. Very cool. And you know. Uh, this has to be made out of some very like high tech material because this this feels like it weighs almost nothing. It's like I am 
It's like I am holding paper in my hands. Wow, very cool. So, Batman on on the bottle. Should he be taking that many pills? Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, rich, 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 rich! Approximate running time, 192 minutes. That's gotta be bullshit. You're lying, you're, you're fucking lying. You're fucking lying, Mike, I need to know. 192 minutes, just trust me. Oh like, God. I would never ever lie to you. What's he saying? Is something about a popcorn machine? Could you say that again, buddy? I, I, wh what? Did you say, did you say you're, you're my buddy? I know, what? we've I known each other a long time. No, no, the thing you said before that. It's something about the popcorn machine, the Death Star popcorn machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Death Star popcorn machine. One of the best features of this Star Wars Death Star popcorn machine is that it's whisper quiet. At home, when I'm running a vacuum cleaner, you can hardly hear it. I agree, I didn't vote for Trump either. Right, right. Are we still making the fucking popcorn? The machine's the machine's fine. Look, as you can see, the quality craftsmanship on this. Oh my god! It, it, it looks just like the Death Star. Oh my god! And, you're spilling oh hot god. butter oh all god. over the table. There's an awful lot of smoke. Where 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 are the Star Wars uh, wipes? I don't think the butter is supposed to go on top of the popcorn maker. I, I think there's a problem. Is it supposed to do that? Did you get this at a Goodwill? <laughs> Two girls, the three girls that fell out of a, a Ferris wheel when it, it didn't turn properly and they fell out, dumped yeah. them out. And then one little boy, like three, flew out of a roller coaster. But he, he's okay. He landed on the ground and was just... <laughs> well, he just landed on the ground. Well, that's... It was yeah. still pretty fucking scary, though, if you're sitting next to your three-year-old and he flies out of a roller coaster. Scary would be if he never landed. <laughs> he just kept, just kept going. Oh, yeah. like, in, like in those cartoons where it's just like they end in a shimmer in the sky. <laughs> a shit. The yeah, officials are all just like, I don't know. Yeah. Jimmy went into the ether. He just kept falling. Uh, it seems like we want to talk about anything but these things. <laughs> I, I believe Carrie Fisher misspoke when she said Star Wars is about family. It's about family, and that's what's so powerful about it. Star Wars is about a half Darth Maul with a robot <laughs> bottom. Star Wars is really about a top half Darth Maul robot and a bottom half Darth Maul robot fighting each other with 20 lightsabers while Obi-Wan is stuck in the middle. Lobot was gravely wounded by an Imperial guard when he was hit in the back of the head by a voodoo claw, which <laughs> scraped his brain stem. Lobot served as Calrissian's aide, personal confidant, and chef. After being denied entrance to the Moss Eisley Cantina due to his cyborg nature. Hey, we don't serve their kind here. <laughs> what? Lobot then organized a peaceful protest or sit-in with other cyborgs in the cantina. <laughs> oh, God. He eventually won the right to drink at the dive bar and was awarded Cyborg of the Year by Jabba the Hutt <laughs> at a ceremony on Bespin. This Lobot backstory sounds incredible. Very cool. They're gonna fly him to the headquarters where the whole movie he's gonna be talking over a radio. Oh yeah. Now let me get this straight. A biological weapon is so nasty that we had to send it to the moon crashes out here in the Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All the Thank you, Wilford Brimley. The real question is, did Dan Haggerty die of diabetes? You died of alcohol. <laughs> of alcohol? Yeah, just yes. alcohol. Like someone threw a bottle at him and it, it knocked him unconscious and then he died? Yeah. Okay. Right. And, then, and then pure alcohol came out of his veins because he just drinks all the time. <laughs> Vein yeah. skateboarder has uh, uh, jorts yes. that are so amazing that Kevin Smith is jealous of them. The way Kevin Smith dresses, he looks like Dorf. <laughs> <laughs> the f 
what's that? This isn't real, right? This is a this is a prank. Are they taking the shared universe to the next level? Are we are we incorporating Caddyshack into the Star Wars universe? Yeah, it's very clear that someone photoshopped a Furby into that image or something because Disney knows not to go that overboard with the cutesy marketable stuff. It's a very funny prank. I never thought Entertainment Weekly had a really, really great sense of humor until now to publish fake images. Maybe Ashton Kutcher was the guest editor because he hosted that punked show 37 years ago. I remember that show called Punked. Do you remember Punked? When I saw The Phantom Menace, I thought I was being punked. I just confirmed it. It's real, guys. And it's amazing. It's very cool. It's very cool. Very cool. Very cool. That little creature is just, it's just going to be gold. One fuck Dom DeLuise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody did. He has a kid, Dom DeLuise Jr. Or, oh, yeah. Um, like, like, like an accident? Like, like somebody trying to get past him on the bus? Their dick got yeah. caught in yeah, one of Dom yeah. DeLuise's yeah. folds yeah. and he couldn't get it out? <laughs> Why is it a, a dick? Wait, do you guys just miss this? I miss all this. Rich, I said nobody ever, Rich said nobody ever fucked Dom DeLuise. And I said, sure, somebody must have. And Rich said on accident, on a bus, <laughs> someone tried to get past them. Their dick accidentally went in one of Dom DeLuise's folds. And got caught. Folds. Yeah. It's folds. And, I, and I'm, I'm, for, I'm picturing a lady, like, trying to, trying to like, climb over him accidentally. <laughs> you know. Sure. And, uh, and Rich was thinking a man. Okay. Well, that'd like, be the far easier way to have an accidental Like, like he's sitting on the subway, and the man's walking in front of him, and he has a, a, his, his pants break open. <laughs> And his penis comes out and goes in Dom DeLuise's mouth? <laughs> fat I mean, fold, like fat fold. Oh, fat, a fat, a fat fold. fold? Okay, okay. Just somebody, it just has to be somebody walking past Dom DeLuise in a crowded space. Uh -huh. They don't know their fly is down. Yeah. And it all just kind of happens. But, but, <laughs> but a, male, a male with an erection. Well, once it's in there, yeah, well, what do you Maybe do it's on the bus. Maybe they were reading porn beforehand. <laughs> I don't. Would this be poking it's on in the, the bus. bus. <laughs> Poke me in the bandit? <laughs> I just want to know why when you think someone accidentally has sex with Dom DeLuise on a subway, <laughs> it's a man and not a lady. Because it's easier. I get it. I get it. It'd be easier. Yeah. Dom DeLuise has a, a newspaper out and his, his, his penis is out. Why and there's a lady. Why is Dom DeLuise's penis out? Because he's a sex pervert and he's, he's <laughs> mad. Listen, listen. It's, it makes perfect sense. Dom DeLuise has a newspaper and he's masturbating on the subway and a lady comes by wearing a skirt with no underpants and she's got to get over him to get to the next seat. This is completely plausible. <laughs> Set of circumstances is so plausible. And then, and then the subway makes like a jerk yeah. and falls. Yeah. And everybody hears the... <laughs> <laughs> And then there, that's how Tom Dolan's <laughs> came about. I think it's far more plausible that a different man accidentally had sex with a sweaty, vaginal fat fold. Okay. That, maybe maybe in like the, the, the locker fun. room, yeah. you know, after the racquetball. Right. And Tom Dolan isn't playing racquetball. Well, no, he's just in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just he's just waiting for the nice looking men to come out. Like oh, he fold. wants it? <laughs> he wants men to fuck his fat folds? Is that what you're saying? Now he wants it. Do you think Dom DeLuise gets pregnant in his fat folds? <laughs> And they they pull the baby out like 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 they pulled the little little slug. Well, now, now you gotta come with, up with a whole convoluted scenario for like a for like an egg to get embedded in one of his folds no, first. No, it's like the Wrath of Khan when they pull the slug out of the back of the the thing. It comes out of Dom DeLuise. But you need bedroom. you need an egg to impregnate that gets in there. Not with Dom DeLuise. So was he like was he like rooting around in the trash for food after his career is tanked? Did he like he accidentally got like somebody used tampons stuck in one of his fat folds? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the only way that can come about. No. He thought he. And, and not only that, but then somebody has to accidentally fuck him in the same fat fold. He thought a used tampon <laughs> was a deodorant stick. <laughs> Going like this, 
and then two guys with erections fucked his, his armpits. <laughs> Accidentally? Accidentally, at the same time. Because remember, he's hanging out in locker rooms, just waiting. Just waiting for it. <laughs> because... They, he's so fat, they thought his armpits from the back were two butt cracks. Wait, so now gay men are accidentally having sex with Dom Not Dalloway? Not accidentally, intentionally. Well, then it's not an accidental fuck anymore. <laughs> well, no, they, well, it's accidental because they don't realize that it's fat folds. They right. think it's an they orifice. They think it's two giant butt cracks next to each other. Well, that's not accidental, that's just fraudulent. Well, it doesn't matter. Tell that to the family court <laughs> when we talk about custody. <laughs> for Dom DeLuise's armpit child? <laughs> um, he carried them for nine months <laughs> in, his armpit, in his armpits. <laughs> he didn't realize it, though. It's like the, 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 the really obese woman that doesn't know she's pregnant until the baby drops out. This one, one day on the subway, again, it's very awkward. For the first time, he decides he's going to do a jumping jack. <laughs> and like 10 children fall off. Oh my god, it's twins? I don't know what's going to happen with Tom Holland, but I'm so fucking angry. Will they go back to Andrew Garfield? I don't know, Rich. We don't know. But fucking god damn it, we're fucking mad about this. Fuck you, Sony! Fuck off! <laughs>